Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we are talking about this electroscope, I think it will be a good idea to discuss about charging and discharging. Now whenever we are providing some charge to an object, we call that as charging. That means let us suppose that an object was neutral. Neutral means it had equal amount of positive and negative charged particles. Now if you provide some excess of charge, that means you are charging the body. And just the reverse process is discharging. That means you are removing charge from a body. So charging is providing charge to an object by means of, by various means like friction, conduction, etc. So we saw how you can charge an object by friction. Friction is nothing but rubbing. So when you are rubbing two objects, you are basically creating friction. Correct. So uh, we already saw how by rubbing two objects you can charge an object like the balloon when it is rubbed with your hair the balloon acquires charge. So you are basically charging the balloon. How can you charge an object by conduction? Conduction means with the help of a conducting material like here in this case when if you look at this initially the aluminum strips are not charged right but it is connected through a conducting material which is this paper clip. Now as soon as you bring this refill that is another charged particle in contact so this conducting material that is the refill will conduct the charge and that's how these two aluminium foils also get charged. So this is the process of charging. So in electroscope at this step the aluminium foils get charged and when they get charged what happens since both of them have light charges so they tend to move away from each other they repel each other. Now what is discharging? So right now these aluminium foil they have some additional charge. So if this is positively charged in case this material is positively charged then the, these foils are also having positive charge. Discharging is that process in which we take away this extra positive charge from the aluminium foil strips. And what is that? It is the removal of charge from a charged object. Now once these objects have acquired charge, how do you remove the charge from them? So that, that's another example when instead of the charged object, if you try to touch this wire with your finger, then what happens? Finger actually provides a path for these excess of charges to get grounded. So the foil strips will lose these extra charges to the earth through our body. So this process is called discharging. So discharging is nothing but removal of excess of charge from an object. Discharging is also termed as earthing or grounding. So we will look at the example, a more common example of earthing which will help you to understand it better. But I hope you understand the concept. Charging means providing excess of charge to an object. And that is how static electricity is created and discharging means taking away the excess charges from an object. So whenever we tend to touch any object with our skin, now our body acts as a good conductor. So therefore those excess of charges, they get a path to get grounded or to reach the ground and that's how earthing happens and the object again becomes neutral. Now once these aluminium foils get discharged, what happens? they again close together, they come together. So they do not repel away from each other. So now as I was talking about discharging, let us talk about earthing. Now earthing has a very important role to play in our day to day life. Do you know how? So all of us have a lot of electric appliances in our house, right? We have electric fans, tube lights, bulbs, so many appliances like the mixer grinder, the refrigerator, the television, uh, the washing machine, so many different appliances and they all are dependent on the electric circuits. So whenever the circuit is complete, whenever you have a complete circuit, only then a bulb blows, only then your fan starts. So everywhere the electric circuit plays a very important role. Now when you look at the electric circuits, a lot of wires are involved, correct? So when you have so many wires involved, so much of current flowing through each of those wires, maintaining, taking a safety measure is very, very important because when you actually look at the main lines from where the current is or from where the current is flowing to your house, there are chances that sometimes you might have voltage fluctuations. 
correct and those voltage fluctuations can actually damage sometimes the electric appliances in fact the chances of electric shock is also more so when you have that that much of current flowing throughout your house right so that is where earthing acts as a safety measure now we will see what exactly happens in earthing and what it does that it acts as a safety measure earthing is also termed as grounding and it is nothing but a process of sharing charges with the earth the word literally earthing what does it mean it means sending the extra charges to earth so you can very easily remember it like this earthing the word earthing is derived from earth why because all the extra charges are being sent to the earth because wherever you have extra charges only then like let us suppose if you have a neutral object and if you touch that neutral object there is no risk because there is no charge there are no it is neither positively charged nor negatively charged but if that object has some charges as soon as you touch it what happens a current tends to flow because the excess charges want to flow it it wants to go to the ground now as soon as current flows you feel electric shock right so in earthing what happens is the circuit is prepared in such a way that we provide a path for grounding we provide a path through which all the excess of charges can actually go to the earth so therefore you are not left with excess of charges here and there so you do not feel the static electricity whenever you touch uh, anything whenever you touch a plug point or uh, whenever you touch a wire you do not feel it why because all the excess charges are being earth i will give you a very common example which all of you are aware you would have seen the three pin plugs which are used with most of your electric appliances mostly you will see three pin plugs why because three pin plugs are safer when compared to two pin plugs so let me first explain what are these three pins so why what are these three pins for so you have a socket like this where you actually insert the three pin plug right okay so why do we have these three pins because these three pins are connected to three kinds of wire so one of them is connected to a positive terminal one of them is connected to a negative terminal and the third one is for earthing so let us first talk about earthing so inside your house you often see these kind of sockets right so this green wire that is this particular terminal is always for grounding or for earthing so what does it do it will just take all the excess charges and it will directly take it to the ground so that no excess charges are left over here so when you do not have any charge accumulation in the socket then the chances of electric shock reduces to a large extent at the same time sometimes you might have voltage fluctuations or anything of that sort then also all excess charges can immediately be grounded through this so the chances of damaging the appliances also decreases now what about the other two uh, pins which you have now these two pins are for two different wires two different kinds of wire to which they are connected and what are these wires called so you see the second pin is here and the third one is here so these are actually connected to the main electric poles from where you receive from the from where electricity is coming to your house so basically these three wires the three wires which you have are live wire neutral wire and the earthing so these are the three wires which you have so these two one of them is positive one of them is negative so that is live and neutral and earthing is for actually removing the excess charges so sharing charges with the earth is called earthing so now whenever you are using a two pin plug so in two pin plug you need the positive and negative terminal because without that you, the current will not be able to flow so live and neutral wires are there in a two pin plug then what is missing earthing is missing so the risk is more in a two pin plug and therefore it is always advisable to use a three pin plug and not a two pin plug so this is how earthing acts as a safety measure for the electric circuits and appliances used in our house 
So I think with this, I have given uh, a quite quite a detailed information about electric charges. What are the types of charges? How uh, conductors can help in charging? How insulators get charged by rubbing? So all these basic concepts are clear by now. So I think now you are all set to understand the real concept of lightning. So now you will know that lightning is not due to God's anger, but it is due to electric discharge. It is due, it, 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 it's, it's nothing but the story of charges. So let us now see. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.